What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we're doing something really, really fun that I've actually been meaning to film for a couple of months now. I really hope I'm not too late to jump on the Emily in Paris bandwagon. I know that the show has come out like three months ago, but I'm still not over it. I pretty much sat down and watched that show with the third season in like one sitting. So I am pretty proud of myself. I thought in today's video, it'd be really fun to revisit some of those outfits that Emily Cooper wore in season three and pretty much recreate them because they were absolutely iconic. I feel like this season definitely had a lot of pattern on pattern and a lot of pattern clashes which sometimes worked, sometimes didn't. If personally you were more into the outfits from the second season, I did also do a video on that a couple of years ago now which I'll link in the eye. And to recreate those outfits back then, I actually used Shein and I found so many really similar items. As I had so much success finding such similar pieces on Shein last time, I thought I would do it again for today's video. So thank you so much to Shein for wanting to work with me on this one. I am so excited to show you guys how similar some of these outfits ended up looking. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see some of these Emily Cooper outfit recreations, then without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the very first outfit that we're going to be recreating is probably one of my favorite ones from the entire season, and that is this one right here. I just love how colorful it is. It's definitely very different to my personal style as all of these outfits are to be honest as you'll see in the video. This one has a mild pattern clash but I feel like somehow it works. So first up she is wearing a simple kind of like scoop neck sort of striped black and white top. So I picked up this one from Shein. It hasn't got as much of a scoop neck as her one but this is the closest thing I could find. I'm not too sure if hers was a long sleeve or a short sleeve but I just went for a long sleeve as it's freaking cold. For the trousers she's then wearing some like royal blue slash navy kind of trousers. Trousers. They're super high-waisted and really fitted. So I found these ones. These are probably the closest that I found on the website and they're pretty much just like a straight leg pair of trousers. I feel like the jacket is definitely what makes the outfit so unique and so many people were literally going crazy for this outfit. The blazer that she's wearing in this outfit is actually a designer brand. I can't remember what it was called, but it was definitely like over 500 pounds. I did try to get one, but I honestly couldn't get my hands on one. And as it's such a unique kind Kind of print. It's a very chunky, large kind of checkered print that's rainbow. It was very tricky to find anything similar like that. So I had to kind of improvise. Instead of a blazer, I just got this shirt, which is striped. But if you guys look at the color scheme, it is very similar. Like it literally has that same kind of vibe. This one in particular was quite a long shirt. It was more of a shirt dress. So what I had to do is I actually had to cut it off at the bottom and then kind of like taper it in under. I really didn't want to miss out the sort of like colorful jacket slash blazer moment. So this was like my next best thing. Now for the shoes, it was really tricky to kind of see what kind of shoe she was wearing. All you can see is basically just like the toe part of it. So to me, it looks like it's just a silver square toe kind of shoe slash boot. I wasn't too sure which one it was. So I ended up getting these boots here. I haven't managed to get one that was a square toe, but I feel like these would kind of like do the job, you know? They are a metallic silver, so I feel like that's all that counts. So that is my recreation of the first outfit. Let's go put it on and see if it looks anything like Emily's. Okay, so here is my attempt at recreating that first outfit. This is what the outfit looks like on. To be honest, I don't know that these two patterns go together. I'm still kind of trying to get on board with this pattern clash going on, but I don't know if it's working. I mean, in my opinion, it looked really nice on her, but now that I have it on me, I literally just feel like I'm not me. Maybe it's the fact that we've got some stripes going this way and then we have other stripes going the other way. Hers was obviously the stripes and then it was the checkered kind of print. So perhaps those two patterns worked better than the ones that I've got on. To be honest though, visually, I'm pretty proud with how close I managed to get every single item. Like the color scheme of this shirt is so similar to her jacket. Likewise, for the shirt underneath here and the trousers, I think everything is pretty similar. This is the reason that I actually love filming these videos it really gets me out of my comfort zone and it makes me pair things that I would never think to pair together. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Do you think I did a good job at recreating Emily's outfit or is this just so far from the original? I would like constructive criticism, but please be nice in the comments. Let's also see what the outfit looks like without the colorful shirt. 
I mean, that is a vibe. I really like this striped top. It's very nice and fitted. The quality is nice and it's very stretchy too. And then the trousers are really nicely fitted around my waist. They actually have real pockets. And then these shoes look quite cool with it too. On the scale of how well I think I did it recreating this outfit, I'm gonna say it's probably like a six. Okay, moving on to the next outfit. We're gonna be recreating this one right here. I feel like this is again, another iconic one of the season. So many people lived for this yellow and to be honest, so do I. I would never personally wear it myself, but I feel like it's such a look. So first up, we're starting out with a kind of like lacy top. So I really wanted something that was kind of like lacy slash crochet and high neck just so that it would look very similar to hers. I ended up finding this one and it was definitely very important to me to have the edge almost like raw. There was a lot of these tops that just had like a straight edge and I feel like it wouldn't have the same vibe as Emily's one. So I'm so chuffed that I found this one. I think it's gonna look so cute with the yellow blazer over the top. Speaking of the yellow blazer, here it is. This is what I went for. Again, this is from Shein and I just love it so much. It's such nice quality. It's got shoulder pads and it's very like structured and thick. It's quite long too, so hopefully it's gonna look similar to Emily's. Now in this particular photo, it's really hard to see what she's wearing on her bottoms, whether she's even wearing anything. I think perhaps that high neck lace top may not actually be a top and it could have been a dress but to be honest I couldn't really see. In another scene though she's literally wearing that exact same top and she's wearing this blazer but she's then wearing a black skirt with it so I don't know if they just did like a little bit of an outfit change or what but yeah she was all of a sudden wearing a black skirt. So this is the one that I picked up it's got a nice little slit on the side and it's made of like this faux suede kind of fabric. It looks like it'll be pretty snatched so I'm excited for it. And last to complete the look we also have a bandana so she's got like this sort of yellowy nudie kind of bandana on her head I got this one and I mean I'm hoping it's gonna give the same vibe I sadly couldn't get my hands on any yellow shoes or the stockings which I feel like would have been so iconic but you're just gonna have to see the outfit with some plain black shoes instead so again let's go pop this one on and see how it fits all right guys so here we are here is the next outfit I have tied the bandana on my head very very, very badly, so I just want to apologize for that. It doesn't look its best. Also, I couldn't get my hair to look quite the same. I don't have a fringe like Emily, so just bear with that. I have to say, I'm obsessed with how this yellow blazer looks on. It is so nicely fitted. I have also got that little black skirt just peeking through underneath, which is so nice. Also, I just love this lace kind of high neck top. I think it looks so cute underneath this blazer. I just really like how cohesive this outfit is. It definitely really resembles the original especially with like the little hints of yellow in the bandana I mean with this outfit I definitely cannot pull it off the way that Emily Cooper did but I still really love it the one thing that I do wish that I found was some yellow stockings and some yellow high heels just like hers I feel like that would have really completed the look instead though I just paired it with these little white heels which I think are really nicely with the top so yeah let me know what you guys think of this outfit recreation what would you rate it out of 10 I think I'm gonna rate it probably like a 7 I think I've actually done a pretty good job with all of the main kind of clothing pieces. The only thing that obviously lets it down is the lack of stockings and the yellow shoes, but we're gonna look past that. One thing I've definitely learned from this outfit is that I need to learn how to tie a bandana, that's for sure. Moving on to the next outfit. This one is definitely very, very different from my personal style, and I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to pull this one off. It is this one here, and this is from the iconic moment when she quits her job and she literally just like walks out and she just feels free. So as you guys can see, she's wearing a very like relaxed kind of v-neck that's a red and white striped kind of top. I wasn't sure if it had any sleeves or what, so I just got this little short sleeve one and yeah, I feel like it's similar enough. Over the top, she's then wearing a green cardigan. So I managed to find this one and I feel like, again, it's a very, very similar color and style of cardigan. It's a really lightweight kind of fabric, which I feel like is perfect for spring and summer. Now the next part of the outfit I am so excited about because this was the part that was either gonna make it or break it I had no clue if I'd be able to find that black skirt with red hearts on it I mean, that's a very particular design. However, as always Shein has pulled through look at this you guys It's exactly the same length that goes sort of like past the knee and I am just so happy I found this this may be a little bit different in shape This one's a little bit more like flowy and a-line whereas hers is a little bit more tapered at the bottom I feel also it doesn't 
doesn't have the buttons down the middle, but honestly, as far as a black skirt with red hearts go, this is pretty close. And lastly for the outfit, she's wearing some pretty high Mary Jane looking shoes. So I picked up these and I mean, they're not really my style, but they're the closest thing that I could possibly find. They have the strap around the ankle. They have the rounded kind of toe and they're not too tall. So hopefully these will be pretty comfy. I would say this outfit kind of has like a kitsch vibe to it, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go try it on and see how it looks. All right, so here is the next outfit. I have to say so far, I actually think this is probably the most similar outfit that I've managed to recreate. I mean, look at it. Everything about it is pretty much spot on. We've got the green cardigan, which is almost exactly the same color. We have the long black skirt with little hearts all over it that literally took me hours to find. And lastly, we have the little red Mary Jane heels, which just complete the look. I mean, I have to say, I definitely feel just a little bit like a grandma in this outfit. I think it's like the cardigan and the skirt. Okay, maybe I'm too harsh. Maybe this is giving like cool grandma vibes. Like this look is definitely a little bit too mature for me. I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe it's just the fact that I've literally never worn an outfit like this in my life that's literally throwing me off. But as far as Emily's outfit goes, I'm pretty sure this is quite similar to it. So let me know what you guys think, but I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Moving on to the next one, this outfit is definitely one of the ones that I kind of gasped at when I saw it, but also not in like a good way. I just was like so shocked at how large it was. Like the top was so extra. I just thought the directors of this show are really taking the fashion in this show to the next level when I saw this. It was this here. And I mean, it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, of course. I personally, for one, would never wear this out, but I can appreciate it. And I do think it looks really cool. Now you're probably thinking, Roxy, like how, how are you gonna recreate that? Like that is a designer outfit. That top is massive. We're gonna do it on a slight smaller scale, okay? Bear with me. First up, we have the top. Okay, so we've got a little zebra moment. However, the sleeves on this, look at it. They're very, very extra. They're very puffy. They're quite large and they do go out to the sides. Obviously nowhere near as much as, you know, the original outfit. But I feel like you get the same kind of vibe. So I'm excited for that. So that's the little zebra moment. For the skirt, I then picked up this and upon closer inspection she's not just wearing a skirt she's actually wearing a skirt so it's a skirt in the front and then it's a pair of shorts on the back which is exactly the same as this item and i just love this so much look at the little slits on the side it's so cute she's then wearing some black tights with it and for her handbag she had this really interesting white bag that was very kind of like asymmetrical it had a lot of shapes to it my closest rendition of that is this bag here i mean it's not quite the same, but it's a little white bag and has got some interesting angles, so that's gonna do. Now for her shoes, she's wearing a pretty like high pair of platform black heels, and I didn't manage to find one that also had like that silver sole like hers. However, I did manage to find this pair. These are definitely nowhere near as tall as hers, but I think that's probably for the best because I cannot walk in tall heels. I really like these actually because they kind of look like a heel slash a wedge. The strap is really nice as well with the gold hardware, so. So, I mean, that's the whole outfit, I guess. Let's pop it on and see if it resembles anything of Emily's outfit. All right, so here is the crazy zebra print outfit. I have to say, I am so happy with how this turned out. I feel like once again, this could be one of the better outfits from the video that I actually managed to recreate pretty well. Obviously, the top doesn't have anywhere near as much drama as the original one, but I feel like it's definitely got a nod to that, if you will. I mean, you can tell these sleeves are not just like regular sleeves they're very much puffy and a little bit more extra than your regular sleeve and honestly I just cannot believe that I managed to find a top like this that's so similar and in the same pattern. Honestly, when it comes to finding unusual items, but on a budget, Shein has got you. They literally always pull through. And then for the rest of the outfit, we've obviously got the skirt. This is such a nice skirt. I really like the two slits and I love the fact that it's actually a skirt on the back. I just paired this outfit with some ties, just like Emily Cooper did. And then we've got the shoes on the bottom. This little bag is so cute. It goes really well with this outfit, I feel. So honestly, as far as recreations go, I 
I would say this is a 10 out of 10 for me. I know that everything isn't exact, but I mean the whole general vibe of the outfit is definitely there. I'm just so happy I managed to find a top that's so similar and in the same pattern. I just can't get over that. So let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I know it's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I actually kind of like it. Now, moving on to the very last outfit. This probably has to be the one that's got the most pattern clashes going on. I feel like at this point, we're no strangers to the fact that Emily is literally like the queen of pattern clashing. So first up, underneath her jacket, she is wearing this chunky large plaid kind of jumper. It is black with the white uh, like threads going through it, if that makes sense. I am so happy that I found this because it is literally almost exactly the same as hers. I really, really love the design of this and I know I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of a jumper like this. So that's the base of the outfit. Then for her bottoms, I managed to find these. And to be honest, as I'm looking at these, it's kind of giving me a headache because they're so busy. These ones are just plain black and white. I know that hers had like a hint of red in the thread, but I couldn't find ones like that. Now over the top, she is wearing a large buffalo print kind of jacket. So this is one that I literally struggled to find for hours until I came across this one. This one is made of like a really fluffy kind of Sherpa sort of fabric. I know it's not the same as hers, but in terms of pattern, this is the closest I could get it. I really like the large buffalo kind of plaid. It's very hard to come by that kind of pattern on a jacket. So as you can probably imagine, this whole outfit is gonna be a right mishmash of all the patterns. It was actually really hard to see what kind of shoes she was wearing in this particular outfit. They didn't really show any close-ups of any of it in the scenes. So I think I'm just gonna pair it with these. I feel like these will go with it quite well. And lastly, to complete the look, of course we have to do the black Baker Boy hat. I feel like that just really pulled the whole outfit together. So let's go try that mishmash of an outfit on and see how it looks. Okay, so this outfit is probably the craziest outfit I've ever worn in terms of patterns. We literally have three different patterns going on. We've got a houndstooth on the bottom. We've got like a large buffalo kind of check. And then under here, we have a plaid. This is literally the best of both worlds. <laughs> and I don't know if it all works together. I think what makes it bearable to look at is the fact that there's different sizes of everything. Like we have the large print, then we have the smaller print, which obviously does clash a little bit, but because of the size difference, I think it kind of works. And then also the jumper underneath isn't as busy as the trousers and the jacket. So I think that's kind of why it works. I absolutely love the Baker hat. I just feel like it spices up the outfit in the right way. Again, I'm not sure I would ever wear this kind of outfit out. It's definitely not me, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about recreating the outfits. So let me know what you guys think. Is this close to the original outfit or not? I feel like it kind of is, right? I mean, I know that the textures aren't perfect, especially with the jacket, but I mean, it's kind of similar, right? The most important thing for me is that it gives off the same kind of vibe and I feel like this outfit definitely achieves that. So on the scale of one to 10, I think I'm actually gonna give this a solid nine. I think I did pretty good with this one. All right guys, so that was everything for today's video. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna see any more videos like this on the same kind of premise of me recreating different outfits from different and like Netflix shows. Definitely let me know what kind of shows you would like me to recreate outfits from next. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.